episode 7. It's just going to be a bunch of uh, miscellaneous tips and tricks. Uh, nothing too mind-blowing, but uh, hopefully some things that will help you out here and there in your artistic journeys. Nylon brush, cellophane transfer, stencils, full writing, blow blossoms, communications, scrapers, chalking. Any of that sound familiar? Yeah, that's about it. We'll get started. Okay, we'll start with uh, something I call the wisp wheel. All right, uh, you remember back to episode one with the toy trucks, the toy wheels. Um, also on uh, little toy vehicles like that on the inside, you'll find little gears, stuff like that. Now since they have teeth on them and a hole for an axle, I figured I could just stick a nail in the inside. And I have something to hold on to while I run it through paint and then on the surface of my canvas. It's kind of like sponge tracks, sponge rollers, um, but it's what something I call wisp wheels. It gives a nice, soft, delicate line uh, through, through your artwork and hopefully it'll help your, uh, your abstract art. So, let me show you how that works. Okay, for the wisp wheel demonstration, I'm going to use green paint. Just any, any kind of paint will do. This is what I'm using right now. And just uh, spread some out. Take your wisp wheel and run it through there really good. Make sure it gets all around as evenly as you can. Hopefully not too gloppy. I'm trying to be sloppy. That should do it. Then, on your canvas. Now, it's so delicate, you may not see it immediately. You can see the green line there. Starts out a little gloppy, a little sloppy. But it gives you a nice delicate line. And the thing with the wisp wheel is that it runs out of paint by the time you get to the other side of your canvas. You can see, it just it gets really thin. Mm -hmm. Another thing you can use is uh, nylon brushes, like the barbecue brush, you know, with like the rubber-like uh, bristles. Those are fun to work with and very expressive. So let me show you what that looks like. Alright, I'm going to use this. It's kind of like a teal, called metallic cobalt blue. Okay. Dip it in, load up the bristles nice. And what you want to do is like come down flat so the bristles splay out and give you lines in all directions, like so. Go in here. All right, let's take a look at that. That's what that looks like. And you can combine them with other colors to create different effects. It's fun to work with and uh, easy cleanup. That's what that looks like. That is your barbecue brush or nylon brush. One thing I've done is I've taken uh, just a regular credit card, named him Ox. And I cut off the corner. 
You see that? Now why did I do that? Well, what that does for me is it gives me one tool that gives me uh, edges of five different lengths. One, two, three, four, five. And how I use that is the following. I take some paint, right? And I dip the edge in. There's the edge. And if I want a line somewhere, I put a line. I put a line. I put a line. If I want a bigger size, I go to the next size up. Yeah. Next size up. Yeah. Next size up. Yeah. And finally the, the longest edge. So, may not look like much, but it does come in handy. You will see. All right, this next thing I want to show you, I'm not sure if a lot of people know about it, but you can take chalk, right? And apply it to your surface of where you might want to put something. You can see, like let's say I'm working with this rectangle here and I want to draw a line through it and I don't know I don't want to put paint down just yet so I'll use my chalk and say well okay maybe I want to put the line right here right and then you're like oh no I don't want to put it there all you have to do is take a dry brush and erase it and you're good to go you can even paint over it and you should be good to go. You can use different colors. I want to go that way. Oh wait, I don't want to go that way. <sighs> Problem solved. I call it chalking. It's, uh, it's a handy little tool. You can place things in your artwork uh, that you're not sure of without being fully committed. Um, I'm sure there's a really good joke about me being committed here, but uh, you'll, you'll have to insert that. All right, that's all that is, chalking.